guys, this is Julia Kaufman here at the World Blockchain Forum. And I have here Dan Bates from Hi. Impact EPA, which is a blockchain-based renewable energy platform. Correct. Nice to meet you, Dan. Nice to meet you. All right. So tell me about Impact EPA. What is it? Impact EPA is a renewable energy company at its core with a blockchain application that allows people to prepay for energy. Now, why is that important? You get a you get yeah, an electric yeah. bill yeah. at the end of the month. It tells oh, you how much you yep. use, right? Yep. And how much you got to pay. Yep. If you go to the emerging markets of the world, the developing nations, out in rural India or Kenya, you know, or wherever in Africa, right? People don't get bills, no. right? They no. don't have credit. They don't. Okay. So they have to prepay for everything. Seventy percent of the transactions in Kenya are done on a mobile platform called M-Pesa. Which is M Pesa, M -Pesa. which okay, is yeah. really okay. nothing more than trading okay. cell phone minutes for goods and services. You go to the market, you want to buy a loaf of bread, you can trade your minutes for that loaf of bread. Okay. That's a cryptocurrency, it's just not on the blockchain. Yeah. Yeah. So what we did is we came up with a way of saying, okay, these people don't have power, they right. need it, right. right? They don't have credit, they're never going to get a bill. How are they transacting right now? They're doing it on a mobile device. So we came up with this method of using the blockchain, using a, a really a community of socially aware people, right? The blockchain aficionados, the blockchain yeah. community, connecting them with people who need power and then a clear flow of revenue so that it's not a donation. We're not the Red Cross, right? We're a for-profit business. We want our investors to do well but we want to really make a positive impact on people all over the world. And we do it with renewable energy, clean renewable energy. So talk to me a little bit about decentralized energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what so. What does that really mean? Right, so. I break it down to five dollars. It's right. decentralized and it's also de distributed. And what I mean by that is where, where the cell phone kind of leapfrogged mm -hmm. transmission lines, right? Telephone lines. No one has a landline anymore, right? You may not be aware of this, but 98% of the developing world has a cell phone. They don't have landlines, yeah, right? So we then go out beyond the grid where there is no transmission line. There are billions of people who don't have access to energy. So we then created a utility company model by putting a distributed energy generation system out there. Hold on, let me stop you. What is that? What's a distributed energy system? Distributed is something that is not centralized right where you would get you said you had con edison there's a coal fire plant somewhere yeah. that's generating power and it's pushing it down a wire for all of new york yeah okay. right it's a, and a lot of hydro and things okay. like that but it doesn't matter okay. right it all goes down a wire from a central point from one right point. so in distributed energy you put something out beyond the grid and it services a small area maybe it's one home or one village it's not doing all of new york and why, and why is that better? Why is because that? you're not going to have a utility company run transmission lines to the rural areas anymore. It's too expensive. They're not doing it. They're, They're not doing it. it. They don't they get it. Prepay. Yeah, yeah, right. But do they prepay for these big companies? No, they don't. They're not connected They're to these. They're connected. just not going to get power. power. Right. So now okay, I so can go out can and I can install a system from, like I say, a rooftop or a microgrid that might service hundreds of homes or even thousands of homes. So is a microgrid the only reason it's micro? Is because yeah, because, homes. right, because okay. it's okay. small. Okay. Right, Con Edison is doing gigawatts. Right. I have a project in Haiti that's 150 kilowatts, right? A megawatt is a million, a yeah. kilowatt is a thousand. So very small. Okay. But the 5,000 people that are connected to my 150 kilowatts, they, need you. they now have power, wow. right? That's a life-changing experience for those people that I touch. So, who are your competitors? Um, you don't consider Con Edison a competitor? No, no, no. Well, Con Edison, all of my work is done overseas. Okay. It's all done in developing well, no, nations. I mean, I mean, but think, uh, institutions like that, they're not there. They're not there. So who else, who are you so, with that would be well, there? Well, in the blockchain space, there are other companies doing renewable energy projects. and. You can Google them and find out who they are. They're good companies doing fine work. We need more companies doing renewables, protecting the planet, right? Offsetting fossil fuel use. That's really important. Yeah, I, agree. I haven't seen another company doing what we do, which is 
manage power from generation to payment all the way through, but focused on a market where there are 1.2 billion people who don't connect to a grid. There are billions more that connect to a grid that's unreliable. It grounds out, it blacks out, it's just not good stable energy. I have a friend who lives in Liberia, and he says he has grid supplied power four hours a day. And he's spending 65 cents a kilowatt hour. See, you pay 10 cents on average in the US. He spends 65 cents. The project that I'm doing in Somaliland, the woman has a hospital, she pays a dollar a kilowatt hour. And it's a tiny little country, right? They don't have the income that we have. So what would they pay instead of a dollar and 60 cents, what are they gonna pay for you? I'm gonna give her power for probably 25 cents. So she's gonna have a huge savings. The people of Somaliland will have that savings. And how are you able to make that possible? We use renewable power, wind and solar, which is cheaper. And I, I, look, I can't provide a, a solar panel any cheaper than any other company out there. We all buy it from the same suppliers. Uh, my focus is on areas that need it. I'm willing to go to places that people typically don't want to go to. Yeah. I love it. That's where I like to work. Um, it's, it's challenging. It's hard. There's nothing easy about it. But it's what I love to do. So I go do it. And the people need it. And yeah. when they see the light come on in their house or in their school or in their hospital that didn't have power before, that's rewarding to me. That's what makes me get up in yeah, the morning. Yeah, wow. It's an incredible story. Yeah, it's great. So I guess, I mean, going back to sort of the business model, why, why does it need to go on the blockchain? What does the okay, blockchain so add? the reason we use the blockchain yeah. is we can provide trust. I deliver a kilowatt hour to you, you pay for a kilowatt hour, right? It's a trusted transaction. We can also now know a little bit about you. I'm not gonna give personal information away, but when you have a cell phone that's got minutes on it, like we were talking about, and you can trade those minutes for power, we know where you are because that connection is made through a smart meter that's sitting on your home. The smart meter is connected to the blockchain. So now I'm learning about your power usage, right? I'm giving you identity and reputation because you're transacting, there's a payment going there. How much I'm, like, what do you what specifically you're know? Yeah, but do you know I'm, I'm consuming like TV versus? No, 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 no. I don't know but that. you know that I'm consuming uh, 2 p.m. a lot, you know, maybe 9 p.m. it goes down. Yeah, I, I, I can get timing. That's less important than what, general what's usage. What, what, what how, much? how much? How much? Like, I, how much? How much yeah. do I consume in a month? Right, or a week, and why right? Is that helpful to you? Because that allows you to provide other services, right? Now we know what where the, uh, the energy usage is coming from. Where Right? Okay. So now we can say, okay, they're building a business. Right? Now that they have power, they can do, you know, uh, agricultural yeah. things. They're they, building their economy. Right. Ener all economies start from energy. Without energy, you don't really have an economy of a modern state. Right? Without energy, you don't have quality health care. You don't have great education. In many cases, you don't have clean water. Right? That takes power to filter that water. Uh, you know, we're collecting it right now. There will be a market for it, of course, okay. but right now we just... Care? Yeah. Well, we don't know their well, name. We don't get all that. Yeah. 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 So they don't, yeah. You yeah. just know in this region, like, consumes more power than this region. Right. That's, that's right. You know, fueling economic development. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, so your target audience is basically everyone in the region. Well, our target right. our audience is people in developing or emerging economies that don't have power. Okay. But or I don't mean, have reliable. Everyone. Yeah, residents, it's every oh residents. everybody. We do hospitals, we do schools, we do government buildings. I did a police station. Wow. They had no power. They had a generator. That's you know, so it doesn't matter. No, you don't even realize until you travel maybe from remote places. Yeah. And they some of them if you right? go out, you go out to the bush, yeah. and it's a whole different world. No, and they want it. They want it. They want to be like us. Yeah. They want the conveniences of us. Yeah, you provide that cost effective solution. Right. Wow. And how how big do you think this market? How big is it? Yeah, like you said 1.2 billion don't yeah. have a connection. Yeah. There are estimated another 2 billion on top of that that don't have a stable connection. 
a reliable one, the example I gave you in Liberia. If you were to quantify it, do you have, do you have a number about, um, you know, $5 billion? Dollars, no, 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 not that much. Yeah. It's going to be probably a good solid two and a half, three billion. Two and a half billion. And how that, much do you think that you can capture? <laughs> I don't even like to look in terms of, like, okay. of that. I, I, it's too hard to know, right? I mean, you, you have other risk factors that have to be weighed. Hey, look, if I got 10% of a billion people, we had 100 million customers. That's a good number. That's a pretty good number, right? We're a pretty big utility company. If we had 100 million customers, that's a third of the United States. Right? So, the opportunity is enormous. Let's leave it at that. You're the leader. You're the leader. Right. That's right. Yeah. Wow, you heard it right here. Yeah. Dan, I think the best way that I'm going to understand this is to see a demo. Can I see a demo? Yeah, I'd be happy to show you one. <laughs> All right, perfect, Dan. All right, let's zoom in on this. Okay. This. All right, there we so, go. So, what we have built is an application that allows for somebody to purchase power from their cell phone. Okay. Very simple. So, if you take a look at this screen over here, yes. this is a microgrid. Yes. Solar panels, wind turbines, yes. they push power to a battery. Okay, and that, and that what battery. battery? That, the battery is inside the building. Inside the the battery then okay. connects to the smart meter, smart meter, which is connected to the blockchain. Okay, smart meter, so blockchain. Battery, my, smart meter, blockchain. Right. Okay. And then what you're going to see is this is a light right here. Oh. I'm going to turn on that light using my cell phone as the, as the application okay. that addresses the smart meter. Yeah. All of this is okay, managed yeah, yeah. on it's the like blockchain. I turn my like, Dyson on with my remote control. Kind of. Sort of. Kind of. They're kind of a, you know, you're like, okay. you're belittling okay. my product here. Come on. <laughs> Give me a break. All right. All right. No, I get, I mean, it's right. a lot more involved. So, but, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, so what yeah, this okay. does is this allows someone to buy power a day, a week, a month. We don't ask our oh. customer out in rural India to understand their usage in kilowatt hours. No. That's too much. It's too much. But yeah, they know they have me. money for power that day. Yes. Or that week. Yeah, it's very intuitive. Right. So okay. they can do it that way. So you, using our cryptocurrency, which yeah. we call a gen credit, gen I'm gonna credit. use one credit. One credit one gen credit. I'm gonna submit that to the blockchain. Submit that. And approve the transaction. Okay, approving. Okay. Approving. So there is my transaction pending on the blockchain. Oh. Okay, it says pending. So, okay. so right now, there's the hash, there's the transaction yeah, yeah, yeah. details. Yeah, it looks like when I like, send Ether to my wallet. Okay. okay. So what's going to happen now is that transaction is out there being mined. This is running live on oh, the wow. Ethereum test network. Okay. It switched to just now, yeah. meaning the transaction has been verified. Okay. Now, if we go back to the oh. camera, wow. this is a live camera of what's going on wow. at that microgrid. If you remember the light I told you about yeah. that's over here, yeah. wow. that light will receive a command to turn on from the smart meter that has been recognized on the blockchain of this wow. transaction. So it's more than just turning on a light though. Yeah. If this was wired to somebody's home, now the light inside your house comes on. Oh, this is, yeah, this is so much. Where, right? Where is this microgrid? This is in Indiana right so now. So we're in New York. We're in New York. On a phone. Right. We just turned it on in Indiana. There we go. There's wow. the light. Wow. Yep. I okay. See. Yep. That's right. That wow. will last a minute because the value we gave a gen credit in this case was just a minute oh. because of the demo nature of what we're doing. Right, Want right. you to see it come but on and come do, off. You could know, do a day. Okay. You could do thirty minutes. Right. Wow. Exactly. So interesting. Okay. So that's what we do. Oh. You just you just bought power remotely on the blockchain um, wow. and paid for it. Okay? Yes. Thank you so much, Jam. That's what we do. Come right. visit us at impactpa.com. All right, we will. <laughs>